Hey Simmers, this is your pal Peter, here with another episode of Lucky Palms Runaway. Uh, last time we did, um, sent him dumpster diving and then he met a unicorn, as you can see, and then also had his first day of school. That's where he met Donnie. And then uh, I sent him home and from his first day of dumpster diving he had 1487. So we will um, think we after school of course we'll have him do his homework. Um, we'll find a fun location for him to do his homework, and then we'll probably send him to the, um, summer festival, maybe, to pick some flowers, because you can make a lot of money off of some of those flowers. You can make $600. I forgot which, how much value is set to each of the flowers. Some of them aren't worth hardly anything. Some of them are worth quite a bit. Um... He's just about to wake up here. We're going to have him tend his garden. And hopefully he'll have time to finish his garden before he has to go to school. So we'll go ahead and send him live here. Most of my games I do not dig into having my Sims garden. So unless you really have the green thumb trade or something, it, the gardens usually take a lot of your time and attention. So. Most of the time when I actually play, I just play one or two sims and that way they can kind of take care of themselves and do what they got to do, not have to worry about a garden. But for this runaway challenge, they have to be able to provide food for themselves. So you have to kind of have a garden or your town has to have a community garden. So. School bus is coming. Oh, school bus is here. He's going to have to go to school hungry. Hopefully, they have school lunch. I think if I remember right today too, they have a field trip. And if I'm also remembering correctly, the field trip is to the police department. An hour late to school. Because of that darn garden taking up all of his time. He woke up with plenty of time to do it, but some time takes forever.
Another thing, sometimes when they go on the field trip, it automatically adds all his field trip classmates to his... Oh, that's funny. Yesterday when he was in school, it was all girls. Now he's in a class called boys. And their chaperone is... Roman Trainer. Okay, don't everybody run into the building first. Can't start the field trip all standing outside. Who's it? Zahanda Wan. Rana. Yeah. Oh, his dad is a chaperone. That's funny, they have a four-star celebrity as a chaperone. Though my teenager in my personal Bridgeport game, they had, if anybody's familiar with uh, celebrities in Bridgeport, they had Lola Bell as their chaperone for the field trip. It's nice of those celebrities to donate their time and be chaperones on field trips. There we go, it added the classmates this time. I'm going to go ahead and send a friendly text to his classmates so that he can start making friends. See, where should we go to do homework? <laughs> Take him to the casino to do homework. Yeah, I think not. Maybe we'll just do his homework over here in the in the uh, park, because he's going to go here anyways to collect wildflowers. It's like I said, wildflowers are worth quite a bit of money. So you pick the right ones. Remember, one of the lowest ones I know is Daisy, but I can't remember which ones are the big payoff and which ones are the little payoffs. So there's one hide in here in the banana leaf. I can get at it. They are yeah, hiding in the banana. Oh, 
And then Lucky Palms, the flowers in the park are usually in the four corners, the four outside corners. You were right across the street and you had to ride his motorbike all the way around. Pretty kid. <laughs> you visited a park. Went on a field tour. We also got a souvenir and his field trip. Let's take a look at what his souvenir was. Mounted police badge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, what does a police badge do for the scene? Nothing. Maybe you should run around and Flash the badge and see if we can get any. Pick five large flowers. Definitely gonna be there. Uh, don't need to pick you. He doesn't have any friends yet. He's got classmates. What the flocks? What the flocks? Not a Not a flocks. Not a He's got the uh, allergy haze, but it's well worth it. No good money. Somebody left the hamburger. The snow is yours. It's a nice party. Not sitting on the ground, but it's homeless. You gotta do what you gotta do. And somebody must have bought that at the concession. Yes, it was a new party. It said it was. Sorry, Austin.
Let's invite a friend out and see if we can start making some plans. <laughs> oh, I don't Let's try this one. It needs a workout buddy. There we go. Here's some more. Um, so. Can't afford an ARG shop. Sure, we'll probably come back to the place for more. Okay, he's going to the gym and meeting her, making his first friend. Killing two birds with one stone. I gotta wait for his friend to show up. Actually, we should probably have him shower. Chinese lady wants to shop a while with him. Okay, there's our friend. Sublarko, <coughs> Urzanagi Flug Chobo Flug Barbie Mikatso Zada Zelka Zelka Bweba Danch Shabasa Team V Nadu Mardunsa Meepson Jeep Johnny Safasi Z Bilbas in me Zaga Zubadu Sam Zigada Zab Narbo Nitsa team Zazim Zamasi Sapso Vini Pida Narbo Yurgo Bibadao Hama Zib Shabzi Madohe in a bad habit of mine, love this master We have to. I'm going to give. The sim a little bit of a makeover. These NPC sims, they uh, EA always dresses them goofy. Hopefully, in oh, there's my timer. We will give him a makeover here quick, and then we will go to catch up with these guys in episode three. Here. 
We'll just do two of his looks. We will do. I normally just do the every day and the um. I do the every day and uh, outerwear because the. Computer does not know how to pick good outerwear for the Sims, and every day is what you'll be seeing the Sim in mostly. So, favorite color That's my Sims favorite color. I think he's got the shirts. Oh, he's got shirts. Do the Island Paradise shirts. Not the base game shirts. Change out the shoes. Get on the setups. Look at his. What the computer put him in for winter wear? Sashko! Horrible, see? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Really wish they had more clothing options for uh -huh. the teens and the children and stuff. Whenever there's an expansion pack or a new game or anything, they always focus on the young adults and the adults, since I guess most people, that's the age they play when they play the game, but still need to give stuff to the kids and the elders. I can't wait for the new create a sim tools so that you can actually pull and so. push on the actual sim to shape the bodies that way. Hopefully the elders don't have to look anorexic anymore. Well, we will go ahead and end right here as long as it's prompting me to save and we'll pick up in the next episode.
And I thank you guys for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and catch you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.